morning, good morning. Um, thank you uh, for that very kind introduction, and, and Adrian, thank you for bringing us, helping bringing us all, all here. Um, in uh, copying or following Adrian and the Prime Minister, I think how I will try and what I want to talk to you about today, I will try and keep in three word slogans. So, um, because I find that I can generally only remember three things. So, um, we're going to go with three word slogans and I'll hopefully try and communicate what I, what I want to get across so that you remember it. Uh, and to follow on from Adrian. So the first thing I'll say is that, as Adrian has said, we've had Boris, me, Bim, and Adrian talking about thinking sustainably. And why this matters is not because you may think or care about climate change. Because, yes, I know it's something that I'm pretty sure the people in this room will agree with, but I don't think you need to be concerned about climate change to make sustainable changes to your business and recognize the zeitgeist, the atmosphere, what customers want, what government will be pushing for, is moving in that direction. And dare I say it, I think quite a lot of the discussion in this area always is almost trying to persuade people of how important climate change is. Now, I'm not saying that isn't important. What I'm saying is, your business people, what I want you to realize is that for your business, thinking sustainably is a good and indeed a necessary thing. The second three-word slogan I want you to think about is, and I don't want to think about it, the first two, particularly for very long, actually all of them. Brexit, COVID, and the Ukraine. And the reason why I want you to think about Brexit, COVID, and the Ukraine is that these have all been significant disruptions. The Ukraine is only beginning, and you know, I can say I've been in Parliament all week. Uh, I can tell you that, um, you know, I'm not, I mean, it's important not to be an armchair general or anything but the consequences economically for what is going on are only just starting to come through and they will be significant. And in fact, the conversation I was having with many senior colleagues was, we need to start explaining to the public what those things might be. And there's a debate at the moment, I think, going on about you know, how much you explain without sort of scaring people or, or freaking them out. Now, Brexit, the big thing was disruption to how we do things in business terms. COVID, I think the big thing was technological change, people working from home, etc. The Ukraine, it's about energy and the need to focus on secure, renewable British energy that is generated here, rather than being uh, more exposed or more vulnerable to energy created in other parts of the world that we have no control of, where often bad things may or may not happen. Now, how I think about this is another three words slogan. So we've had Boris, Bill and Adrian. We've now, we then had Brexit, COVID and the Ukraine. The final three words slogan I want to think about, this is really the meat of it, is security energy and growth. They are the three things, if I was running a business like many of yours, I'd be thinking about these three things. Security, energy and growth. Now security, because as I said, the focus of government policy and the focus of I think what the public is going to care about, what the public is going to want, is going to be about feeling secure, feeling local, feeling familiar, and of course in energy terms, that being UK and, and, and generated renewably here. In terms of energy, the cost of energy has already been going up for the last few months. It will continue to go up much further. 
I was looking at the oil futures market. So not the oil price of today, but what people are paying for their futures contracts in six months or a year, and it's terrifying. I'd urge you not to look at it, it's not good for your health. So the cost of energy going up significantly will mean that energy efficiency is going to be key. Businesses like Adrian's, when he was talking about LED lighting, it sounds like a small thing. All of your businesses, or indeed if you're a business like uh, and I was speaking to Carrie or um, Carry Out Marketing earlier, who's a digital marketing agency. If you are advising businesses, other businesses, energy efficiency right now, I would urge you to, to get people to think about it and think about it yourself because I, I think that the, the cost rises in energy we've seen so far are small, in my view, in comparison with what we will see. And that's, by the way, not even assuming the broader inflationary pressures that are, that are building up in the economy that we don't have time to talk about today, but you guys will be fully aware of. And the third thing, so I said security, energy, and the third word is growth. There is a growing awareness in government that our trend growth rate since the financial crisis has been about one and a half percent, okay? Before the financial crisis, for about 30 years, it was about 2 2.5%. Two Bear in mind the things that we need to pay for, that you will all fully appreciate, and the need to improve our prosperity um, and, and etc., and levelling up, and all these things that we want to do. Our trend growth rate is going to have to get higher, and there's a lot of thinking and activity going into how are we going to do that. Now, that's good news if you're a business, because it should mean and I hope it's going to mean more tax incentives is going to be more ways of how do we make businesses more productive, more ways of helping you make more money because that's what the country and your community and you need to be able to do. And that is a significant factor when you're thinking about sustainability. Don't think about sustainability just in terms of security. Don't think about sustainability just in terms of energy costs, though those things are important. Think of it in terms of growth, because the zeitgeist, particularly amongst young people, uh, the introduction when I was made a vice chair, my special responsibility is youth, which is always a sort of poison chalice being a conservative party vice chair for youth. But um, you know, young, when you speak to younger people, you know, the, the sustainability and environmental focus is so important to them. Uh, and by the way, older groups as well. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to give the impression it's just younger people. It isn't. And how things, this is where things are going. Again, this does not mean you even need to believe in it. You just have to recognize that your business needs to believe in it. Because if your business doesn't believe in this, then you aren't going to survive. You're not going to thrive in the future. So I'd just like to finish by saying my two thoughts as to where I think things are going to be in concrete policy terms. The first is that there is going to be a significant push even further on renewable energy. Just take that as a given. There is going to be a greater push on getting smaller, medium-sized businesses to act in a more sustainable way. There will be a stick and carrot approach to that, but that is coming. I was speaking at dinner with the business secretary, Kwasi Kwarteng, who has actually been here recently uh, to Rockhamstead, and we were talking about this, and he was saying, well, you know, that is just obvious. Everybody's recognised, just dealing with big businesses isn't enough. So there's going to be a focus on that. And the last thing I'll say is that the need for us to grow as a country can only happen with the people in this room, and many tens or indeed hundreds of thousands of, of people like you. And make your voice heard with your local MP. You've got, in, in this county, you've got people like Grant Shapps, you know, he's Transport Secretary, he's in well in Hatfield. Uh, you have uh, many others who've been, who are experienced, who are in government, who understand how things work, who have a real voice. Don't be shy to let them know ideas, things you think can be done, can improve things. Because, you know, in government, like, you know, we only know things because people tell us usually most of the time. So don't be shy to do that. I think that, you know, it's, you may not realise it, but when a business gets in touch with you as a member of parliament or in whatever post you hold, it's fantastic when someone tells you ideas. It's fantastic when people tell you ways in which things can be done. I was just talking to Adrian's son about, he's just had to leave, about 
certain things about his business that he was involved in with his, with his family business and how we can change policy to make that better. Those things really matter. They matter in growth, they matter in sustainability. And look, it's a pleasure to be here and thank you very much for, 